Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the fuse kit with harness on your dishwasher. It's a pretty easy job. All we're going to need is a number 15 Torx driver, a small flat blade screwdriver, and a pair of wire strippers. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step in this repair will be to disconnect the power supply to the dishwasher as we will be working near some live circuits. Next we'll open the door and remove four screws across the top and the next two down. So six screws in total for the number 15 Torx. Next we'll tilt the control panel forward. And that gives us access to the component. Now our next step will be to remove the control board and its housing. You can see where the thermal cutoff is mounted to the side of the control board housing. So we'll need to remove that control board housing to get better access to it. So to do that, we'll simply undo the connector to the membrane switch. Tuck that out of the way. Next, with our flat blade screwdriver, we're going to disengage the locking tabs at the front of the control board. And then we'll lift the control board and housing out. You can see there's a couple of locking tabs that hold that thermal cutoff to the control board housing. With our flat blade, we'll disengage those. Now our next step will be to cut these two wires, the black and the black with a white stripe, Oh, no more than an inch back from the end of the terminals. And we can discard the whole thermal cutoff. Now with our wire strippers, use the number 16 gauge Cutter. We'll strip back about a quarter of an inch on each of these two wires. And we'll twist the copper conductors together, get them nice and tight. Then we'll insert these into the terminal block on our new thermal cutout. And then tighten the screw down so it's good and snug. And it doesn't matter which of these two wires go into which terminal. Now with this kit, I send you a piece of mylar film that we'll insert in underneath the tabs before we mount it on the side of the control panel housing. And we're just simply going to snap that into place. And now we're ready to mount the control board housing back into the control housing. And 
Make sure we bring that connector for the membrane switch out. Engage the two tabs in the end of the control board housing. And snap it into place. And we'll reconnect the membrane switch. And they also send us a couple of wire ties, zip ties, that we can locate this harness away from any electrical components. We'll snug that up. Now that we've got the wires tucked out of the way, we're ready to reinstall the control panel to the main door panel. Next, we'll reinstall the control panel in its proper position. Hold it in place and put a couple of screws in at the top first. Next, we'll reconnect the power and then test for operation. And our repair is complete. Told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.